Hello, welcome to Adventures in Small Business, a collaboration between the United States Small Business Administration, Hawaii District Office, and its resource partners, where we showcase uh, Hawaii's entrepreneurs and small businesses. Today, actually, uh, we have Cindy Matsuki from the Hawaii Technology Development Corporation joining us today, and uh, she's going to talk about a lot of cool things that's happening at the HCDC. Welcome to the show, Cindy. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah. So um, before we get started and talk about the interesting programs that you guys have, um, maybe you can tell us a little, or for the viewers, you can explain what HCDC does and you know, what the purpose is and what your mission is. So HCDC is an attached agency to CBED, mm -hmm. and we are charged in growing the tech economic sector. Oh, okay. And because tech is kind of getting into all industries, sure. We're covering more and more. Sure, it's very diverse. And mm -hmm. uh, I read somewhere that uh, there's an initiative to have uh, 80,000, uh, well, um, I forgot what the figures were. 80,000 new jobs mm -hmm. paying or earning $80,000 or more. Yeah, by, by the year 2030. 2030. Yeah, that is a crazy. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's crazy. But, but I think if people start thinking that way, yeah. then we'll start doing different things sure. to try and get there. Okay, that's, that's, a, the goal. that's a very, very good you know, mission and, uh, to have. Um, so. Uh, for the viewers, basically, uh, we, uh, the, uh, the HCDC, they're housed actually at the Manoa Innovation <laughs> currently uh, with the VBOX and the SVDC, and uh, they do a lot of great, interesting work. Uh, but they have a new project uh, called the Entrepreneur's Sandbox. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell the viewers what that is and what, uh, how it's coming along? So that was a project that got federal, state, and private funding, mm -hmm. which is very awesome. We got a grant from EDA and the state funded some of it, and we have some private interest putting in money as well. And altogether it was like 7.6 million wow. for this building. It's basically a community mm -hmm. center for innovation, creative technology. It's gonna be co-work space and office space, small office space, and collaborative event space. Okay. Similar to the Mono Innovation Center, but smaller and just more open, more oh. open space. Okay. And are you guys going to actually move there too? That is yet to be determined. Okay. So <laughs> you might be homeless, I guess, maybe in a couple of months. Uh, Hopefully not homeless. But. Uh, but the Sandbox is a very interesting space uh, for those that haven't been there or uh, haven't seen it. It's, uh, where is it located? It's in Kaka'ako, right next to the medical school. So okay. Just Eva of the medical school. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said about, about 13,500 square feet. Mm -hmm. And there's meeting rooms and a video conferencing room, and we just brought on the Box Jelly okay. as a partner. Okay, so maybe they're you can be... explain what Box Jelly is for the... Box Jelly is what, they opened up one of the first co-working spaces in Hawaii. Yeah. Before it was even like a thing. Right. And so now co-working is growing. Sure. And so we put on an RFP a mm -hmm. while ago, and Box Jelly won mm -hmm. to manage our co-work space. And so based on their experience, they're going to help us run the co-work space at the sandbox. And it's to help um, take people's ideas and grow them into companies mm -hmm. to have all those resources there mm -hmm. at, the, at the sandbox. So maybe you can talk about the resources that are available to entrepreneurs that are looking to maybe grow or mm -hmm. start their business uh, in collaboration or uh, at the sandbox. So the original ideas for the sandbox was there's going to be a makerspace where you can start prototyping your ideas. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be, we partnered with the Creative Industries Division of DBED that does the movies and the film industry. So they have a studio space for oh. digital media. Similar, bigger than this, but similar, uh -huh. where they're going to check it out with lighting and sound. And so you can do your commercials or you can do films there. Wow. Um, and there's classroom space. Okay. And so and we're going to start bringing in programs to help grow businesses as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so what kind of, uh, I guess, um tenants are you looking for? We're looking for innovative startups. Okay. Tech, manufacturing. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right. And then the co space, I think, I think they're trying to focus on tech and creative mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. but it's also just for people that are working from home but want a space right. outside of home okay. to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. And are the rates are comparable to what's out <clears throat> there currently? I hope so. I think so. Okay. The box jelly kind of set the rate. Okay. So co-working space starts at $85. Okay. And then the office spaces, which are small 200 square foot offices, private offices, okay. they start at 800 for startups. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, 
So the box jelly, uh, it's the, I mean, I'm sorry, not box jelly, not, the sandbox, uh, it's been in construction for a while. And the construction happened really fast, actually. Really? They did the blessing, uh -huh. the groundbreaking in April last oh, year. Okay. And they turned over the keys to us in February. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So when are you expecting the grand opening? And I, I know you were telling me earlier that you guys had a soft opening yesterday. We did have a soft opening. We yeah. had a Wetware Wednesday, which is our monthly software developer networking event. Right. Um, so we did a soft opening there. Our sponsors, our awesome sponsors, were Servco and Unisys. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't have the permanent furniture there. Right oh, okay. now it's temporary furniture. Okay. And so the Box Jelly is working on, they're working with Fish Cake okay. to furnish right. the building. Okay. And then once that's in, I think that should be early summer. Okay. And so we're looking to do a grand opening early fall. And are you seeing an uptick in interest <laughs> from uh, entrepreneurs or uh, businesses yeah I mean when we brought it to conferences to talk about mm -hmm. people were super interested okay and at the soft opening a lot of people were like when can we do events here oh wow yeah, yeah. so it, there's, it, there's I, I mean well for the viewers that were looking at the space I mean it looks really really nice very beautiful space yeah it's yeah, a very great modern space. very yeah. cool yeah. and once it gets finished up with yeah. all the furnishings I think it's gonna be beautiful. Nice. Um, so you know we got that uh, the sandbox um, what else is going on at ACDC that uh, you'd like to talk about so HCDC has a lot of state resources yeah. for small companies and small businesses. Um, the two that I wanted to mention were the MAP grant, the Manufacturing Assistance Program grant, which is a reimbursable grant for equipment training, mm -hmm. um, I think feasibility studies to expand your business. And that's a reimbursable of 20% of the purchases mm -hmm. with receipts up to $100,000. Yeah. and. Uh I'm sorry, I didn't mean to up, but you know, um, I had a client a while ago who who was a recipient of that grant, and he said it was uh, it was such a nice thing that the state does. I mean, uh, the ACDC does. Um, the program oh, is not it's not uh, ongoing. I mean, it's uh, but every year. How does, yes. What does the process look like for let's say a manufacturer that is looking to kind of uh, recoup some of those uh, expenses mm -hmm. or costs that uh, they incurred? How do they uh, go about it? Well, in the bigger scheme of things, sure. We get our funding through the ledge. Okay. And so it needs to be appropriated to us every year. Okay. And so this year, we did get some funding, and we put out an application. Mm -hmm. And so companies need to have their receipts. Right. They need to document their purchases. Right. And they submit the application, and they submit all the receipts. Mm -hmm. And all the qualifying receipts will be considered for reimbursement. Okay. And those receipts uh, is, has to be in the calendar year of the year that they apply? Um, I think this might have been the last year that we were kind of back. Oh. We're looking back further right. for at least, I think it was five years. Okay. But for, moving forward, right. I think next year it'll just be calendar year, the previous calendar year. Previous calendar year, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, have you seen an uptick <laughs> in uh, people's interest in that uh, in that? Definitely. Yeah. I mean, we haven't had any trouble G getting applicants, yeah, right? Yeah, and giving out the whole thing. Yeah. So. And, you know, uh, ACDC is one of the few programs that actually have grants, and it's a very wonderful thing. It's exciting, yeah. Um, it's exciting, and it's a very big boon for small businesses, especially the ones that are starting out or mm -hmm. in the industry that you guys are promoting, which is technology. And like mm -hmm. you said, it uh, spans all kinds of industries now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the grant we have for um, R and D mm -hmm. is the SBIR. Okay. The HSBR. So the state matches. SBIR is a federal R and D grant program. Mm -hmm. It's right. a three phase program, and the state provides a matching grant. Right. So if you receive oh. one of those grants, so it's been technically vetted, mm -hmm. HCDC, you can apply for the grant and we'll match up to half the grant. So the phase one, I believe, is up to 150000 So wow. we'll match up to 75000 Wow. And the phase two mm -hmm. goes up to 1.5 mm -hmm. or 1 million. Mm -hmm. It's around a million. And we'll match up to 500000 So it's after the fact that they're <coughs> awarded the after federal the fact. Okay. So you've got to qualify. And it's sure. a super competitive process. It is, yeah. yeah. We've had uh, your clients uh, that actually apply for it, uh, not, you know, phase two, up to phase two. I think Hawaii companies actually do relatively well, yeah, considering sure. how competitive it is. And uh, what uh, industries uh, would you say uh, dominate uh, for the SBIR uh, grant? So all the agencies have sure. to set aside the grant yeah. funding. But I think for Hawaii, it's a lot of um, defense. Oh, defense, defense yeah. because we have all the, we have Pearl Harbor, we have all the agencies here, sure. and then also um, ag. Act. So USDA. Okay. Very I think cool. those are the two big ones. The two big ones, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that grant is, um, 
When is that uh, application due, or is it has it? Been that one right? passed. So okay. the yes, yeah, so I want to let you know the manufacturing assistance program grant and the SBIR grant both recently just closed. Okay. Um, but I did want to mention a new program okay. that is opening this Friday. Our applications are opening this Friday. It's the R and D state tax grant. Okay. <laughs> uh, the R and D state tax grant. Yes. Okay. Uh, R and D meaning research and development. Yes. And uh, tell us a little bit about that. This new grant that's coming out and uh, what that what that looks like. So this is similar to the SBIR where it matches federal funding. Okay. So if you took advantage of the federal R and D tax credit, mm -hmm. if you can show us the past three years of your federal R and D tax credit that you received, mm -hmm. the state will match up to the average mm -hmm. of those three past years. Right. In a state R and D tax. Wow, so it's like a, a bonus uh, for these companies. Definitely, that, yeah. definitely, to help them take their technology. And is this the first year that you guys are doing mm -hmm. this grant? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the first year. Okay. But one qualifier is you can't apply. You can't have applied for the state R and D tax credit. Okay. And if they oh if they did then they can't. Then you shouldn't apply. Then you should. Apply. Or they're gonna ask for your money back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You don't yeah. want to give money back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. The, uh, so those are the that's a one. Uh, active grant you guys have right now and hopefully next year yes. you will have the MAP grant again and the MAP and grant we were just talking are. before that uh, it's been going on for a few years mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. although it gets, has to get renewed and it mm -hmm. is a process and I know that uh, yes. any session it's yes <laughs> but our companies are awesome they yeah. submit us testimony they speak yeah. on our behalf for the grants so. that's wonderful yeah that's wonderful um, the SBIR grant I think we are the, the longest running matching state grant in the country. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. So it's That's a really, really great program. Yeah, it really is. And, mm -hmm. uh, it really goes to show that, uh, you know, the state's initiative to really boost up um, technology and manufacturing, all these industries, uh, you know, to give them an advantage mm -hmm. you know, to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about the MAP grant, uh, there's also, I mean, um, ACDC also has that uh, manufacturer's extension program, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, which Wayne, uh, Wayne Inoue, Inoue is supposed to be here. <laughs> And talk a little bit about that. Yes, like, he uh, yeah, he, he <laughs> declined my invitation. But maybe you can just uh, let people know that uh, there are resources for manufacturers mm -hmm. out there uh, through the MEP. So the MEP program, um, the partnership is held within HDC, and we support manufacturing in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to reach out to the other 40 or so MEPs mm -hmm. to bring in training to Hawaii. So we do all kinds of, um, like the FISMA. I think that's the biggest one. FISMA, could you explain what FISMA is? No, I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to. It's something about food safety. <laughs> okay, food safety. Okay. <laughs> but we'll bring in trainers okay. for Hawaii manufacturers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, Wayne and the MEP group will go out and talk to clients okay. to see what kind of training that they need right. to stay um, up to date with their regulations. Very cool. And they can bring in, and they can also help source equipment. Um, they can reach out to this network and okay. help source equipment. Yeah, and we also have providers mm -hmm. that we can help manage for the client. Okay. So say they want to overhaul their energy efficiency, right. we can help find them a vendor, mm -hmm. and we'll manage the project with them. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take a short break, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Thanks. <sighs> Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch uh, for our mission of empowerment. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming. Salamat po, mabuhay, and aloha. Aloha, I'm Gwen Harris, the host here at Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness in Hawaii. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of the supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Thanks so much. Oh, welcome back to Adventures of Small Business. My name is Dennis Kwok. <laughs> I'm here with Cindy Matsuki from the ACDC. 
Um, we were talking before we broke into commercial about the, uh, the different kinds of programs you had, um, but I actually want to go back and talk a little bit more about the grant, uh, the mm -hmm. R&D tax credit grant. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you can explain to the audience you know, what R&D is. And a lot of people get kind of, uh, you know, they get kind of, uh, I guess, squeamish about that word. And does that apply to me? Yes. You know? yes. So maybe you can explain that how it, um, encompassing that industry is. Yeah. So in regards to the federal R&D tax credit right. that you can receive as a company, they actually consider R&D including manufacturing right. and product development. Right. So if you're doing anything new, if you're exploring, going into a new product, mm -hmm or a new design of something, mm -hmm. or a new process, mm -hmm. and you're doing um, prototyping and testing, mm -hmm. that could qualify for so R&D tax credit. You're talking about uh, a new product for your company, <laughs> yes. but not a new product like you're developing a whole new product for the industry. No. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you do crackers, yeah. and you want to go into Moji, yeah. that qualifies. Oh, wow, very cool. So you're like testing equipment, and you're seeing if it works, uh -huh. and you're customer testing. Uh -huh. you, can, you can qualify for the R&D tax credit, and, uh, for the federal tax credit. But well, that's uh, because you got to apply for that tax credit at the end yes. of the year. Okay. And then it's at the aftermath after you get that tax credit that you guys will be matching up to 50% or up to the average of the past three years. Average of the past three years. Yes. Very cool. So I think that means that you have to have received it for the past three years. Sure. At least. Okay. All right. And if you haven't, then you're out of luck. <laughs> but at least you can, right? Yeah. For, for and course. then for the next three years, and sure. if this program gets refunded, <laughs> yeah, okay, in the ledge. Yeah. Well, and there was also a few um, requirements for companies that are applying for the state grant, okay. R and D tax grant. Um, they have to have at least fifteen employees who are residents okay. of Hawaii. They have to be headquartered in Hawaii, mm -hmm. and they have to have been doing business for five years okay. or more. So fifteen employees. Mm -hmm. They got to be based out of Hawaii, and they got to have at least five <clears> years of. And there's a bunch of other requirements. Okay. But That's those are important. the big ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very cool. And uh, when is this application going to be, uh, I mean, when is it due? When does it open? Is it uh, It open opens already? Friday. Oh, Tom tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Yeah. It opens tomorrow. So yeah. check out our site, www.hcdc.org. We'll have the application there. That's www.hcdc.org. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, opens tomorrow, and they'll be due in two weeks. Okay. So you got to jump on it. All right. You got about 14 days to yes. see. Because uh... you got a lot of paperwork to pull together. <laughs> okay. Very cool. So that's a warning. Okay. <laughs> and um, how do you, I mean, when you guys put out these grants, do you guys expect a certain demographic? I mean, like, uh, do you guys understand, like, okay, we have this many businesses that fall <laughs> into this demographic. I mean, are we, you know, what, how, what's the percentage of market share you guys capture? Or are you, do you want to capture? Like, how many companies do you want to take on? Is there like a threshold? No, I think the biggest thing is we want to be able to disperse all the funds. Okay. But we do look for it. So I know for the manufacturing assistance program and for the SBIR program, we give priority to first-time applicants. Okay. So new businesses to the program. Oh, so you can apply more than once. I mean, um, well, this is the first year you're doing it. but This is the first year we're yeah. doing this one. Right. So I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, there's no priority because you haven't yeah, of course, applied yeah. before. Right. But for the other grants. Oh, okay, for the other grants. But yes. like uh, for the MAP grant, you can apply every year? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we will give priority to the new people. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's the point. You're and it's always exciting to see new companies of apply. Of course, Especially yeah. for SBIR, too. Yeah, you got to spread the wealth. Yes. For sure. But there are a set of companies that know about all these programs yeah. that know how to take advantage. Yeah. And they always come back. But they're also big um, revenue generators. Sure. And they have a big impact on the state. Right. And so. Yeah. It's so it's a win-win. Yeah, yeah, it's for great sure. that they take advantage of it. Uh, and I, I was looking at your website earlier today, and it says for uh, every dollar that is, uh, it takes to run the program, mm -hmm. uh, there's like $14 in return on investment for, mm -hmm. for uh, the state, the, for the state mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. a great return. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And uh, do you see uh, HCDC expanding, or you know, um, what else is going to be in the fold for uh, 2019, maybe 2020? I think we are in the process of rethinking what HTDC's mission is okay. because one of the things we used to write, a lot of people used to know us yeah. for running the Manoa Innovation Center. Sure. And last year, the university took, took control yeah. of the Manoa Innovation Center. Um, and so I think we're going to rethink about how we can support businesses that are okay. startups and tech startups yeah. um, through the 
the sandbox and through other outreach programs. Very cool. Yeah, and so, I mean, I think there's a lot of things happening, right. especially at the sandbox. Yeah. One of the things I did want to mention. Please. Um, as part of the manufacturing program, mm -hmm. Wayne is going to bring in these robotic arms oh, used like, for manufacturing. Wow. Like, you know how you see those, how it's made TV shows? Yeah, like with a all those robots? manufacturing line and then like uh, the car, they're making cars and all these robot hands. Yes. Terminator 2. No, not Terminator 2. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. Uh, okay. Go on. But, not that uh, far. <laughs> yeah. um, you're bringing the, he's bringing in robot arms. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do some demos oh, okay. of the robots. We're, cool. we're doing a demo specifically for some clients at uh, first. Mm -hmm. And they're going to show how the robot arms handle their product. Oh, wow. And what they can do with it. Cool. And that's going to happen on the 22nd. So on the 22nd of May, mm -hmm. we're going to have our wetware event at the Sandbox. Okay. Again. Could you explain what the wetware event is? Because, sure. Yeah, because, you know, uh, you speak very fast. So maybe let people know what wetware <laughs> is. <laughs> For those that don't know. <laughs> Wetware Wednesday is a monthly networking event. Okay. It started off originally for software developers okay. and universities. Mm -hmm. So the goal was to bring professors and students and faculty together with industry mm -hmm. to make sure that the university is providing what industry needs right. and to also have students be aware of mm -hmm. you know, the kind of jobs, the kind of work sure. that they could look forward to. It's a great resource, Once they too. graduate. Yeah. And it's just all about networking. Right? Because right? even before you need to start networking, you should be networking. Right. Like, as soon as you start college, you should be networking. Because right. <laughs> you can't start after you graduate. Right. Yeah. And so that's the biggest thing. And I think this is our eighth year oh, wow. of having What Were Wednesdays. Wow. So it's usually sponsored by somebody that wants to support the tech industry. Very cool. Yeah. And right. it's a networking event. It changes locations every month. Okay. Um, usually it's a bar. It's free <laughs> Yeah. Usually it's a bar. No whole strings. <laughs> okay. Usually it's a bar. Yeah. It was nightclubs before. Oh, wow. But there's not so many nightclubs anymore. Oh, no. You know Nobody that? really goes to nightclubs. I don't know. Why is that? I have no idea. I think that uh, discussion like is, that yeah, probably. Seen already, uh, but. <laughs> <laughs> not appropriate for this one. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this uh, Industry 4.0 Collaborative Robots uh, is happening on May 22nd. 22nd. Well. So anybody can show. So we're having our <laughs> wetware event, which is open to the public. Okay. But it is focused on software development and tech. Okay. So on the twenty second, it's going to be at the at the sandbox. Okay. So if you missed our event last night, yeah. which was our soft opening of the sandbox, right. we're going to do another one on May twenty second, okay. which is the fourth Wednesday, I uh -huh. believe. Um, and we're going to be showcasing the robot. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so it'll you can be come you know the, the visuals will be just fun, you know, yeah. for a lot of people yeah. to check it out. It should be fun. And then yeah. the following day, Thursday, mm -hmm. May twenty third. Open to the public is workshops. Okay. So if you want to learn more about how you could potentially take advantage mm -hmm. of the robots, mm -hmm. then we'll have two workshops okay, awesome. on the 23rd so, uh, at the, the Sandbox. Sure, 22nd and 23rd. Uh, mm -hmm. It'll give you a great chance to actually uh, meet with uh, program, I mean, uh, software developers, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well as check out some robots mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. the new facilities. So, yes. Yeah, a lot of uh, positive things there. Yes. And so the 23rd, the workshops, we really want to reach out to companies that we don't necessarily know are out there. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things, like, we know who our clients are, mm -hmm. but it's always exciting to see new clients come in. For it's sure. like, where do they come from? You know, you, I mean, there's so many companies out of there. Course. So many small companies. There are. And yeah. do you guys, um, you know, have a, like an approach to actively pursue companies that might need your services? Or is it just people find out about you and they just walk in? I mean, what is the process for you guys? Because there are a lot of, you know, smart mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. That are they, trying to that grow are trying, their business. Yeah, definitely. and uh, a lot of times, you know, they don't think the Hawaii is the market for them or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, they maybe they go to greener pastures or whatnot. But, so, at the, I, I think in the fall, after we know what our funding was for our programs, mm -hmm. we did a round of info sessions on all the, all the islands, mm -hmm. Oahu and the neighbor islands. Mm -hmm. And we try to, we do press releases. We try and get the word out as for much sure. as possible. Yeah. To invite all the companies that could possibly take advantage cool. of our program. Nice. Yeah. And uh, you guys are very, very, you know, and you're not just here <laughs> on Oahu, but you guys have facilities in Maui mm -hmm. and the neighbor, uh, other neighbor. Yeah, so we do program. have an incubator, incubator and co work space on Maui at yeah. the Maui Research and Tech Center. Right. Um, and we also have um, consultants right. that help small businesses on Kauai and the Big Island. Yeah. Very cool. And they will plug people into our programs. That's awesome. And, you know, um, 
uh, just the close proximity of our programs, the Vibank of the mm -hmm. Pacific mm -hmm. and ACC. It's been a real pleasure. And I know we share a lot of information together. And uh, I think we feed each other sure, clients. Sure, feed each other clients. <laughs> I steal your chocolates once in a while. But uh, it's been fun. And I really want to thank you for coming on the show and talking about the wonderful things you guys are doing at the Hawaii Development Corporation. Yeah, so, no, I, I hope the show reaches and, far uh, and wide. Yeah, and uh, congratulations once again with the Sandbox. And uh, I um, hope that it's a you know, very you big combined success. Visit. We will. We definitely will. Uh, thank you for joining us at Adventures in Small Business, and thank you, Cindy, for coming. Uh, we'll see you next week.